Hey, this is Carl over at Nova Slingshot. I wanted to make a second video of our next project. Uh, we're dealing with a 2017 SLR Slingshot, and the project is um, doing some insulation as far as the heat goes, as well as installing a stereo with an amplifier. So I guess we'll just take a look around. Uh, don't know if anybody's curious what the Slingshot looks like with all the covers off, but we'll take a tour. So we'll start with the dash area. What I found as far as the heat goes is there's uh, these openings right here and also openings in the glove box as well as along this one. And uh, what I did is I got some of this uh, insulation that would come from the hardware store uh, for house insulation. It's like that Tyvek kind of stuff and uh, then the silver tape that goes with it. So I really just built my own firewall and I noticed that this whole area was wide open, just flowing right through, heating up the radio, uh, heating up the glove box area. And I did put some along this spot for the glove box as well, just used the silver tape. Uh, when we go over to the driver's side, uh, let's see, there's a big spot that actually is behind the gas and brake pedal. So what I did is go under here with some insulation as well. I found it kind of hard to feed the insulation all the way up underneath, so I just used a good bit of silver tape. Um, you know, it's not the prettiest, but I really don't think we're going to get much as far as insulation goes. The whole thing is plastic anyway, so there's not much sense in uh, insulating when I've got just direct hot air blowing right on me. Um, I've actually been riding through the winter in Virginia um, this is March now, and I got down to about uh, 24 degrees was the coldest, and uh, I really didn't mind the heat. Everybody says, oh, there's so much heat on the slingshot, but us winter riders uh, really learn to appreciate it. Um, so summertime's coming, so I figured as long as I've got it apart for the stereo, I might as well get some insulation going. Um, I found another big spot that was wide open underneath uh, if you've got the S, it would be the storage compartment or the stereo. Uh, this whole thing, look right down at the transmission. There's, uh, you know, absolutely no insulation at all uh, or wind blockage for that matter from the heat. And I think I'm going to plug this up with tape as well. I haven't found any real specific need to have those open. So in the back, um, you know, we've got the place for the seat belts covers are all off so there's a dashboard off on the floor we've got the seats out and all the rest of our components laying back here roll bar areas rear cover so as far as the stereo goes um, I got a setup from SSV Works, who actually uh, became a distributor for them. And my choice was uh, originally to put a, they call it a double DIN, is the head unit that's the, the double DIN size. And that's this one right here. But the problem is that it's rare to find something for, to use with the backup camera. Clarion's got that unit, but on their reviews, uh, it was really failing as far as I was concerned. You know, a Bluetooth needed to be synced every time. And, um, I could make a remote for the backup camera, you know, just get an iPhone backup camera, but then there's syncing issues as well. And I leave this thing parked outside uh, sometimes in the city uh, unattended, and I really didn't want to have an expensive stereo. I figured the stock one with the stock backup camera would probably be plenty good as far as uh, theft goes. Um, for the speakers, what I did was something uh, kind of unique. SSV Works hadn't done it yet is um, I got the Kicker Marine speakers for the front and got, this is the new style pods. They fit really contour in there. Uh, just to talk about the new pods, something I noticed is there's actually a molding piece that goes right here. It won't fit with the new pods, so it's wide open. That's what I get for now. 
when I called SSV Works, they said they're actually working on a new cover to go in this area that's going to fit with their speaker pods. If they designed it just a eighth inch smaller, then the pot, this decorative cover would have fit. Um, sounds really good. I mean, there's no sense in me firing it up to play the music uh, over this little lavalier mic I've got. You're not going to hear anything except a bunch of noise anyway. Um, I did get the rear pods as well. I really like these. I mean, good solid fiberglass stuff, very well built. Uh, you know, not a lot of room for the chamber for the speaker, but plenty good. Uh, really surprised at the sound. The part that I did that they had never done before was I actually wanted to put a sub in here. So I got the, on the side pods, um, Kicker makes a six and three quarter inch, which didn't fit. So I ended up, uh, got a spacer from SSV Works to move it out a little bit. So I've got two six and three quarter inch subs bumping into my hips. And then I've got the two speakers in the front for sound. And then I've got these right up by my head. So I've really got six speakers, two being subs. Uh, for me personally, I can't do without the storage compartment. I just, too much. I go to the gym every day and, uh, you know, I didn't want to give up any storage at all, period. So keeping the factory stereo in there, what my solutions were was um, I just got a Bluetooth controller instead of a head unit. And I'm actually going to mount this thing right here. And I found that uh, when I'm sitting in the driver's seat with that mounted there, I can just have my elbow sitting in this spot and I can control these and shift all at the same time. And I really won't be able to see the controls, but I'll know where they are just by the braille feel. So I'll run the wires up and through. Uh, as far as the remote unit for the Bluetooth controller, I just mounted it inside this compartment and with a cigarette lighter. And then I was originally gonna put the amp up here, but I realized with the bracket, there wasn't gonna be any room to put the stock control unit for the head. So besides it getting cooked by the engine, even with the insulation in there, uh, just didn't seem like a great spot. So um, after talking to SSV Works, they said they were at a show down south and they saw some people put it in the back, which then I disassembled the rear of the unit and put it in here. Um, there actually wasn't enough room to put a plate on top because it just came up too high. Um, so I, I had to mount it low like this, that I can get to the door and adjust the uh, adjustments on the amp and then ran all the power wires in here. I still have to tie all this stuff up, but um, plenty clear of the gas tank. We've got a plenty good air gap in there and uh, power runs directly down to the battery. So what I did is I built a bracket uh, that actually went across the whole thing and I just screwed it into the bottom and then did a bolt and nut set up for the amp here and then I made some forward brackets that went at an angle and I couldn't go straight across because of these uh, support braces and um, this exhaust will sit up in between and I'm sure the way this is even with the exhaust being under the plastic there's so much air gap here uh, with the air under the cover as well as the distance, it's got to be a lot better than sitting right next to that manifold up in the front as far as keeping this amp cool. I notice it gets kind of warm back here just from me playing it, but again, I don't have any air movement over it as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, inside, just running the speaker wires down and through, and I still got to tie everything up there. Um, right now I'm just working on finding the last little spots to tie up as far as insulation goes. And we'll get the seats back in, the dash on, and uh, hopefully I'll be driving it in just a day or so. That's it.